part two of the uh, public restroom etiquette video series here on my YouTube channel. Uh, kind of a, a funny conversation, but one that needs to be uh, had apparently based on my conversation with some of my students uh, who said they just really hadn't thought about it that much, which uh, should be a concern for all of us, right? So I did have a good conversation a few weeks ago with somebody uh, pre-pandemic uh, where they were saying, hey, I'm more concerned about the fact that I touch a menu and, and um, spoons, forks, cups in a restaurant before I go into the restroom, which is why it's so important that I wash my hands. And, and you know, my point to them was, well, if you're looking to protect yourself from others, um, then you should wash yourself actually as soon as you wash your hands as soon as you go into the restroom, right? Um, so um, after you use the restroom, uh, touch toilets, touch toilet paper, touch maybe um, toilet linens, um, touch the faucet for sure. Everybody's touched the faucet and the soap things. It baffles me when I go in there and the soap dispensers require you to touch them. Oh my goodness, right? Um, so now it's more important than ever that you're washing hands and there's so many good videos online now about washing your hands, singing happy birthday slowly. I always sing it twice because I sing fast. Um, getting, you know, not just here, but inside the fingers, uh, here, doing the thumbs. Let me see if I can get up here. Doing the thumbs, both thumbs, doing the pinkies, both pinkies, getting the knuckles, all of these. Uh, be very thorough on the um, hand washing, but that's not what my video is about. My video is assuming that you already know that. Now that you're done with that, if you touch anything in there, you, the whole thing's out the window, right? So you have to have a paper towel. Half the times those blow dryers are crummy and don't work. You end up washing it on your um, shirt or, or drying it on your shirt. And then the worst part is people forget to think that the, the second they touch the bathroom door on the exit on the way out, they've recontaminated their hands with everybody else that's been in there. Uh, my boss told me this years ago, and I mentioned it on my coronavirus daily, but I'm going to say it again. I'm going to give you permission to do this. If you go into a public restroom and when you go to leave, you still should have the paper towel in your hand that you dried your, your hands with. And you go to open the door because hopefully it's a push to exit and you just push it with that paper towel. Sometimes it still requires that you pull. Okay. Don't touch it. Touch your paper towel. Here's what I'm going to empower you to do. If there is not a trash can, within arm's reach, uh, then you just drop that paper towel right next to the door until they figure it out that in this day and age, you darn well better have a trash can right next to the exit. And you'll notice in my part one video, there is one just to the left. Um, but I've told my students and everybody else that, hey, there is no shame in you just dropping. And I always used to drop it very you know, gently right there on the bottom. So they got the point. And I've even been so far as to tell people at places of uh, public um, uh, retailers, hey, you know, you really need to put a trash can. Of course, the young kids look at you like, what are you talking about? And the older folks are like, yeah, uh, I totally get it. We will do that. Thanks for the tip. But you do it in a polite manner. So a couple other things just for part two of this proper public restroom etiquette um, when it comes to germs uh, and, and infection control. Um, you know, hand, wash your hands thoroughly, trash can next to the door. Um, the linens are not the best use <laughs> of the paper towel, it's better to have a paper towels, but right now in public restrooms, at least in areas of a pandemic, it seems that the paper towels are gone, that the toilet paper is gone, and you're lucky to have a linen. We didn't take the time to show you how to put a linen out when you sit down on a toilet, but I assume that everybody knows that's why they're there and that's what they're for. And I, I think it's very rare that I've ever used one of those where I haven't actually cleaned the uh, toilet first, which is disgusting and gross, of course, but hey, you put a real thick wad of toilet paper or the linen paper and you wash it off and, and dump it there in the toilet. My apologies for a messy restroom. We're in the time of a pandemic where everybody's over concerned, which I think is a good thing. But guys, if you haven't considered these things and if you know people, particularly young folks that haven't really been schooled in, in infection control and really how to keep from spreading germs, share with them these two videos. It's kind of fun. It's kind of gross, but it's very important. Uh, uh, that people understand these things. It's Dr. Josh Luke. Check out the other videos on my YouTube channel at Dr. Josh 